Welcome, I'm Linda Parker from BA Life and I'm here today with Cathy Burkage from Mind at Work Consulting. I'm delighted to announce that Cathy will be amongst the many talented and amazing speakers taking part in BA Life in May. Thanks for chatting with us today all the way from Australia. Um, the time difference means of course that it's early morning for you over there and it's pretty dark and miserable over here tonight so so we'll just get on with things. Um, I know a little bit about um, yourself and having listened to you talk at a few conferences before um, and with such passion about your subject um, but for anyone watching that doesn't know what you do and what you talk about could you introduce yourselves and give us a, a bit of information about what you do? Ah, no problems. Great to meet you and great we could find a time. It is nice and early here, but it's a beautiful sunny day, so I'm sorry about that. <laughs> uh, I'm Cathy, Melbourne, Australia. I've been in IT since the late 1980s. I started off as a software engineer, but I very quickly moved into analysis and I've been doing business analysis since probably the um, early to mid 90s onwards. Nowadays, I do a lot of Agile and BA training and coaching. I also am a mindfulness practitioner and I teach mindfulness um, outside of work, but sometimes inside of work. And I'm very passionate about both business analysis and mindfulness. And I'm also probably quite an Agilist as well. So I do all sorts of training for many different organizations, big, small, and of course, um, all over Australia in the, in the past before pandemic, now it's a lot online, but I also have been known to travel um, and teach people and do workshops overseas as well. That's amazing, Cathy, thanks for that. And I think that's where I saw you before, it's down um, obviously in the, the London conference and in other conferences that I've been to. So. Um, uh, as I said, that you're great at speaking and you're very passionate about the work that you um, do. And um, what I wanted to ask is what sparked your interest in BA Life 2022 and taking part in our conference up here? I love sharing my passion with um, business analysts and agilists all over the world. And I really enjoy going to conferences and um, really hearing all the terrific talks at the conferences. Um, I really enjoy the learning aspects from the BA community far and wide and I love sharing what I've got with the community so we can all benefit together. BA Life struck me as such a wonderful way to, to share the tools and tricks of BA Life, <laughs> the life of a BA, and learn about the new and innovative ways to perform business analysis. I really want to be part of that learning and that sharing and that's one thing I really feel attracted me is that BA life, life as a BA and how we continuously learn and share and, and innovate. That's brilliant. I, I love the fact that you've pulled out um, the, the life side of the name of our conference BA Life. It is of course an acronym meaning Business Analysis Learning and Innovation Festival, Edinburgh or E online, um, but it also means the life of a BA. So it's great that you've pulled that out. That's terrific. Um, so you're scheduled to appear in the BA introspective track, which is all about tools and techniques. So could you give us a little teaser about your um, particular presentation? Although just a tiny teaser, we do want people to come and actually see you on the day. So. Absolutely. So I'm very passionate about working with stakeholders and building strong working relationships. If we don't engage with them effectively, then our role as a BA is going to be very compromised. So I've been thinking a lot over the years of the best tools and techniques. And while there are tools and techniques out there, I always found them sort of cold. <laughs> so I've developed a new tool to help plan our engagement more in a more thoughtful and mindful way to look very deeply into how we can best meet their needs and work well with them. So I'll be talking about my new tool, the Stakeholder Engagement Canvas, and how we can use it to build strong stakeholder relationships. That's amazing. I think that will be extremely relevant to every BA because, I mean, we deal with stakeholders every single day. It's a, it's a fundamental of the role. 
So that's amazing. Um, so I can't wait to see that and I can't wait for you to join us on the day of the conference. Um, many of our, speak, our um, delegates will ha no doubt want to get in touch in advance. How would they um, get in touch with you if they want to or, or hook up with you? The best way is to go on LinkedIn. There's only one Kathy Burkage in the world and some people will say that's a good thing. <laughs> so Kathy Burkage, exactly as it sounds, there's only one of me on LinkedIn. That's probably the most effective way. And from there you can find out about my webpage and get in touch or message me or connect or follow. That'd be great. That's amazing. Thank you very much for that. And thank you for taking time to talk to us today. We'll see you on the 26th of May. Um, not long now, just a few months, lots of work to do before then. So, and of course, for anyone listening out there at home or at work, if you haven't got your tickets yet, visit www.balive.co.uk now and book your ticket. Thank you Thank for listening. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thank Kathy. You. See you soon.